Hello, everybody. Just a little update here. Uh, so what is funny, I was going in there to do some chores and, and typically, you know, at around two, two and a half weeks, you know, we go in through and I do another defoliation and I clean up the bottoms again. So I started doing that. I think one thing we will do is, is I will go through and clean out the bottoms. However, uh, after getting through about four out of the plants, I realized, oh my goodness gracious me, our predatory mites have in fact begun to propagate, which is a great thing. That's good. Uh, they're propagating on the undersides of the leaves. The females are going around and laying eggs. They're attacking, they're eating, and it's a good thing. But I've also realized that our typical way of going about it and defoliating, okay, at two, two and a half weeks may not actually be what we're going to do this time. I think it's time to leave them alone. <laughs> And uh, let these predatory mites have a chance to kind of get going. So basically, that's kind of the update on that one. Um, I went through, I defoliated the four plants um, and realized, oh crap, I'm screwing up their propagation and them going to war. So what I'll probably do is I'll leave that big default that we typically do at two, two and a half weeks. I'm thinking I'll probably leave that maybe till around week four. We're at about two and a half weeks now. So let them have another week and a half of kind of going to town. I do think I will go through and clean up the bottoms so, though, leaving the rest of the plant intact and anything that seems to have a bunch of eggs on it from our predatory mites. I think I might just like lay at the base of the soil there and then that way the eggs can hatch and uh, go on and continue to kick ass and take names. Uh, but it's great to see that though. Um, you know, I've never used this many predatory mites before. We have deployed two packs of 20,000, which is certainly uh, maybe a little overkill. However, it is really cool to see them kind of doing their thing and laying eggs and getting in there and actually entrenching in and going to attack. So it's it's quite funny. Like I saw this one leaf uh, that had uh, just a huge amount of eggs on it. And at first I was like, oh my God, what's in there? And then it hit me. I was like, oh wait, these are predatory mite eggs. And then I looked very closely and then lo and behold, there was a young female predatory mite going and laying eggs. I was like, all right, so good. They weren't just random bags of dirt. Our homies are going in now. So I pumped the brakes though on the default. We're gonna let them do their thing. Uh, we've done a big feed today. We'll have the three weeks of flower update for you uh, coming on Thursday, uh, one little thing I was trying to contemplate, I was like, well, what can we do to kind of really maximize this run? Plus, the stretch is slowing down. I've had to snap a few tops, so I'm thinking I may install some side lights, grab some 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 older squash units and just maybe put them on the walls, uh, do some side lighting and really crank that room out. I mean, it's quite jungle, uh, quite a jungle in there, so it's we'll see. But I'm, I, I may play around with putting one up and just seeing how does it look. We've got more than enough power in the room itself to accommodate more lighting systems. Uh, one great thing is too, we finally got uh, you know the lab all organized. A big shout out to Uncle Michael. Uh, thank you, Gooba. You came, you kicked ass, you organized, and got us into a better situation down here. We've actually unpacked all of the swag, and and you know things have logic now. We've got shelves where. You know, certain tools go certain places and this or that. And uh, it's never been my strong suit organization. And uh, so big shout out to you, Gooba. Thank you for your help. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on those predatory mites. They're actually doing things. They are in there. They're attacking the thrips that are still remaining. Um, and they're propagating. And they're setting up shop. It's like, watch out. This is our hood now. Watch out, motherfuckers. Right? So... Anyway, everybody, that's the update. It's not much of an update. It's just me talking, but I was doing some chores in there, and I was going to, you know, talk about that. But then I realized very quickly, I was like, I'm actually harming what I'm trying to do by pulling these leaves right now. And we're just going to, you know what? We're going to break some of our normal rules. We're going to let the predatory mites get in there and get entrenched. Anyway, everybody, remember, the true grower is the forever student. The true grower is not afraid to take risks. The true grower makes educated, stupid decisions. We'll see you in the show on Wednesday. Sorry that we missed the Sunday show. I had a big business meeting uh, the night before with the new head of international sales of our company, who will be heading up getting our beard oil and gummies and uh, uh, tinctures out there into different stores. 
Uh, so all three products will be available hopefully very soon in retailers across the United States and the states where CBD is legal. Uh, and I'm actually right now uh, attempting to get our beard oil here uh, into London Drugs and Shoppers Drug Mart. So hopefully throughout Canada, at least uh, the bearded ones will be able to at least try one of our products. And remember, my favorite scent, obviously, is Squatch Stank. We have the cedar wood and whiskey as well. Uh, and also find in the description of this video the link to our lighting systems, some of the most affordable, professional-grade tech around, and we're the only company designing shit to be upgraded and fixed. You have a right when you spend money on something to be able to fix it and maintain it over uh, time. So anyway, everybody, check those out. Check out the petition. It'll be in the uh, description of this video as well. Um, you know, share it around, and uh, together we can stand up for our rights to be plant people and uh, maybe hopefully... One day, you know, Google and Facebook will get with the times and realize it's not 1995. Anyway, everybody, keep it real, keep it sexy. I'll talk to you next time. Okay, peace, bye.